1.2 kilometers to go. Pidcock looks round from Wilders with him. Onley's there as well. Yes, a great move by Pidcock here. He's put the distance into the rivals that he wanted to. I'm sure he'd be quite confident in a sprint against these two, but this is a uh, shocked me. And they're through that one kilometer to go barrier. Now, Ilan von Wilder looking around. Oscar Onley, just 20 years of age from Kelso in Scotland, Adam, looking for his first pro win, and he is in quite the company as we look back to see Magnus Court. And just in front of Stefan Kung, Ma Valentin Madouas was trying to bring them back up. They're losing time, aren't they now? The yellow jersey could be about a fade away, certainly with the likes of Pitcock and von Wilder up the front. A reminder that von Wilder's just 20 seconds from the lead. Yeah, it's going to be interesting if Almeida can bring this back. You can see the change in pace here. Just around that corner, flattens off a tiny bit, not too much, but if they're able to bring this back, it's going to be interesting if they play in the front or not, because if the riders in the front start playing, then it's going to be game over. They will get caught. Whatever happens, I think it's going to be still very interesting and very close tomorrow because we're not going to get huge gaps today, but it's coming back here. There aren't gaps here now because Joao Almeida is bringing this back. Rui Costa struggling to hack the pace, and it's Joao Almeida who comes around. Oh, we're going to get some Portuguese passion in the final few hundred metres. It's Almeida who's there, Pitcock on his wheel. Then Martinez is there as well. Hidley and Van Wilder trying to come around. Oscar Omni that. still moves up into third place now. Yeah, Igita's just trying everything, rocking and rolling right at the back to get that gap, but these three are going clear. We look back to the yellow jersey, who's losing time. Can Magnus Court hang on? It'll be get your stopwatches out stuff in a moment. But at the front, it's Joao Almeida, who's trying to ride away on Portuguese soil. He's carrying the national flag, but look at Igita coming from behind again. He knows how to win on this mountain, and he's trying to do it again. Igita moving back into shot, as it's Joao Almeida who looks around. Igita now back onto the back wheel, and Pitcock flies off the front. Tom Pitcock goes away flies away, looks around and sees a gap in the road to Joao Almeida. Fighting with a bike, fighting with a gradient, fighting against the whole field. Tom Pidcock against Joao Almeida. The Portuguese fans roar him on, but nobody can do anything to stop Tom Pidcock taking the victory. Pidcock across the line, and now the count back starts to the rest of the field. We'll have to do all the sums and the counting in just a moment's time. But Tom Pitcock wins the stage. Magnus Court, after days and days of entertaining...